Aquarius, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach. Happy February and happy Valentine's Day. It is right around the corner. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I've talked to you guys. I hope everyone is doing super wonderful, fantabulous. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, subscribes, and for coming back and giving me another opportunity to be with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome, 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 and thank you for giving me a chance. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this read. Guys, I got something special for you at the end. I got a new deck, so I will be reading to you from the Sacred Sites Oracle cards at the end. But let's jump into our general read, meaning that I am focusing on the general energies that I am receiving. However, we're starting off the power week with the giraffe. All right, guys, the power of silence is at your beck and call. This is about blending in, being laid back, having the grand vision of intuition, balance, and grace, seeing far into that future and being able to discern what will come next. Also, you can uh, don't underestimate the giraffe, okay? Like, looks like it ain't gonna do nothing, but if you've ever seen these pe things fight on um, Animal Planet, I can't talk today, they can kick some ass, all right? So one thing about this is um, thinking about the giraffe, don't lower yourself for anything this month. Be regal, keep your head high. When you lower your, your ways of being, you make yourself vulnerable to the attack. This is about spiritual connections and strong bonds with family and friends, especially the parent-child relationship. And some of y'all may be having a baby because I see the shaman of birth right over there sneaking on out. So um, this is also about starting a spiritual practice because they, they say that the giraffe sleeps very you know, flexibly. So like yoga, meditation goes well with this. Check your blood pressure, your circulatory issues may be at hand. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself, all right? This is about um, holding your head up high this month, all right? Now we have the shaman of birth, and this is a spirit that's walking with you. This is telling you that whatever it is that you're trying to birth in your spirit, that you're trying to get to come out, it's going to be time to nurture it and care for it. You can't just have a dream, guys, and not... <laughs> not trying to take care of it so whatever you have at plan right now that's what you're going to have to nurture and the way to work with that energy is with the spirit keeper of the north take time to contemplate connect with your ancestors mend relationships and watch your dreams meditate so that's the second time we got meditation not only with the giraffe but now with the spirit keeper of the north stay warm create dreams for your future repair whatever's broken in your home and your life and forgive those people in situations that you've been dragging around for a while so spirit keeper of the north is just kind of telling you mend up the place okay clean house wreck shop do what's important okay and and, and if you think about it green is the color of the heart of your heart chakra and blue is the color of your throat so it's time for you to birth in your spirit and speak up but do not lower yourself to other people's standards, Aquarius, okay? With that being said, let's jump into our read with the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. Guys, I'm so excited to be with you. I'm so sorry I've taken so long. Big apologies. I cut my thumb washing dishes because I am not a domestic goddess like others. And a coffee cup broke off into my thumb. And it was very difficult for me to uh, shuffle. It, it hurt. It hurt really bad. So with that being said, I'm just grateful that I can shuffle again. Actually, I'm just grateful I can wash my hands without it burning. <laughs> All right, guys, let's bless our deck. Sing to Till, bless these cards, and show us the energy that you have for Aquarius for the month of February. Oh, th that is it, guys. All right, well, that's all we got i'm gonna go ahead and move these cards over to the side so we're gonna be looking at a five card spread focusing on our past was the prince of arrows that could be you in the present we have the carob of arrows the hidden influence is the ten of wands your advice is the carob of cups boy you got your angels out with you and the outcome is the five of arrows all right, guys, very interesting month. Overall energy is the Princess of Wands. Some of y'all are dealing with fire signs this month. Okay, Aquarians, let's see what we got going on. So, I'm going to get you a little bit closer in. Bam, 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 bam. All right. Did I set my timer? Because y'all know I be talking too much and this thing don't have a timer. No, I didn't. Okay. Prince of Arrows. This is Era, and what it looks like in the past is he was really trying to communicate 
as you are trying to communicate your wants, your needs, and your desires. And you're communicating effectively is what it looks like. However, this communication is going into the present moment. And I feel like the Carib of Arrows has a message for you. Although he has the deer here and he wants you to love yourself unconditionally with the information that you're receiving with this arrows. With what I really feel is going on this month for you is lots of communication and decision making. And it's almost like you're ready to like cut the cords on a lot of things and you have ancestral support. I think this is why meditation is something that's very important for you this month is because you are receiving messages or downloads from your ancestors, your creator, your angels, however you want to look at that. The messages are coming. However, I want you to focus that they're around this heavy, heavy area with the Ten of Wands. I want to see what the Carib of Arrows has for you. And it's the Ancestor of Guidance. Can we get it any more clear right here? So basically the Ancestor of Guidance, is it's the elk medicine. And it's reaching through and it's telling you it is time to respect yourself and for, for you to respect other people's boundaries. The Ancestor of Guidance is basically just trying to reach out and grab you, shake you up a little bit, and put you on the right path. A lot of times when I see the Ancestor of Guidance, it makes me think of nobility. Nobility is really... The point of this card and endurance, relationship with others, respecting others. This is about profound wisdom, companionship of family on your journey. You are not alone, Aquarius, whether they are alive, whether they have passed on to the other side. There is real help right now in your situation that you have to make a decision about this month. Now, the hidden influence that we have at hand, oh baby, you got Pazuzu. Y'all know I love Pazuzu with his little um, serpent his serpent weapon down there. However, this Ten of Wands is kind of telling me, surrounded by these two angels, is that it has been a heavy burden that you have been carrying. You may not have been telling people how you feel, and you've just been like carrying a lot of um, emotional weight, uh, and, and it's beginning to be a little bit much. And this is Pazuzu, and he's trying to tell you, hey, it's time to release, and it's time to start over. And if you remember the Spirit Keeper of the Norse, that it's time to mend those relationships that have just been going on and on. So I kind of feel like that's what's going on for you, whether it's within the family or whether this is within a relationship with a lover or a friend. It's been, it's been long enough carried for you. Now... The advice that you're getting from the Carib of Cups is basically just telling you, baby, it's time to purify, it's time to cleanse, and it's time to put a little bit of love in it. Because I see a lot of decision making going on this month for you. And you're getting the Hunter of Abundance. The Hunter of Abundance wants you to know that whatever it is that you want, you can have. But you have to go out and get it. It's not just going to come for you. It's not just going to show up. You need to work for what you want. This is about creative motivation, strengths of purpose, moving on, abundance, wealth in all forms. What are you doing right now to get exactly what you want? Because you're just carrying the burdens here with the Ten of Wands. But now your carib is telling you it's time to release, it's time to let go, and it's time to go get what you want. Now, the possible outcome is the Five of Arrows, which you're probably like, well, damn, I went through all of this for defeat. Well, I feel like the Five of Arrows has something for you. I feel like if you don't go out and get what you want, you'll feel defeated. Because it's always like, what if I would have done this? Or, or wonder what would have happened if this would have happened. The thing is, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Make your decision, and whatever the outcome is, is the outcome. If we could automatically know every step we were supposed to take we wouldn't make mistakes and a lot of times i know for a personal fact my mistakes have led me down the right road didn't feel right at the time but it's gotten me to where i'm at now and i ain't pretty i ain't that bad and you aren't either so just following your intuition when it comes to this now with the defeat the overall energy i don't know what you guys are dealing with it looks pretty heavy with all these arrows and wands um is this fire-like energy that's coming into your life. Whether this is your, in your chart, whether this is your partner, a family member, but this princess of wands is almost like, you remember the shaman of birth said it's time to nurture your dreams, it's time to take care of things? Well, this princess of wands, she ain't trying to take care of nothing. She's a little bit lazy and she's only giving you half of the story. So some of y'all are dealing with fire signs that are only giving you half of the story. She was uh, known for keeping the secrets of birth from men, 
Okay, the Princess of Wands is Saran Pitu, which is the wife of the emperor. The emperor in this deck, she was grace. She was everything beautiful and fun. But when she's reversed, it's bitterness, laziness, and lying. So you have to watch that energy that you might be attracting or putting off and if you look at it it looks like Aquarius you need to learn boundaries and you need to respect that some people are just who they are and that's just what it is and you keep it moving and you keep it grooving now I want to clarify a couple cards here so let's see what energy is behind the Prince of Arrows if he could talk All right, more. Okay, in the past, you had to make a really big decision because you felt like you were like emotionally locked into a situation. Some of y'all was like straight up carrying your emotions on your back, going uphill, had all this gossip going around you. I'm so glad y'all can't see what I'm doing because I think I'm crazy. I just feel like there was so much hate around you that you just need, and if you see right here, it's like your ancestors trying to lend you a helping hand and they're taking all that emotional baggage off of you and saying, you know what? You're not alone. I'm here with you. Drop, drop the zero, get a hero, and let's get the hell on out of here. So a lot of y'all have been leaving situations or have decided to leave a situation, whether with a fire sign or dealing with fiery-like energy, something that requires action, all right? Now, the ancestor of guidance. I want a little bit more there. Sorry, Aquarius. I always want more. <laughs> okay. All right. Some of y'all are leaving. Ooh, damn. So for some of y'all, this is a very karmic relationship. Some of y'all are leaving somebody you have been in love with for many, many years. And you are deciding to pack your shit and go. Literally, you have packed up, you've made your decision, and there's no looking back. When I see the Six of Cups, it's almost being too nostalgic, too stuck in the past. But, you know, you're ready to release and you're ready to move on. And I think that's why the um, hidden influence is this Ten of Wands. Some of y'all don't want to walk away from that big old snake. <laughs> <laughs> and some of y'all are like, the hell with the snake. I'm ready to be free. So I want to see a little bit more from the Hunter of Abundance. Aquarius, you got a lot going on in February. Let's see. What is the advice? One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Okay. Strength. Yep, some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. All right, so strength is needed, my friends. You have got to get some strength, some courage. And that is why the Hunter of Abundance is here. And that's why he's telling you, look at what you want. Go and get what you want and stop feeling so overburdened and so hurt because this, this is going to get you through. Now, there's two eights in this read, so I'm going to tell you there's a little bit of hesitation. You're a little bit afraid. It's a little bit full of anxiety. However, you're moving because eight is the number of movement and you're ready to go. Now, for some, you're going to have to swallow your pride, not because you're leaving, but because some of y'all might be getting a divorce. And the reason why I say that is because of the 10 and the five right here. A heavy burden, swallowing your pride, packing up and leaving a relationship. Okay, so... Let's see. Five of arrows. Just just to get more clarity, what would it say? You get your wish. For some of y'all, even though you have to admit defeat, it's still your wish come true. It's still what you want. It's still what you feel you deserve you should get. And I'm going to tell you, because the Nine of Cups is by the Strength card, you get your wish. You're going to get your strength. This is you like stacking whatever it is you want to stack it up and go. And I feel like you're super blessed because this is Apsu. And Apsu is a primordial god of water also, or a priest of the water. And so you have like three blessings in your read and even though this is a heavy situation and that's why the giraffe is here the giraffe is sticking its neck out for you and it's telling you don't lower yourself to the situation whoever you're dealing with keep your head up high because you're going to make yourself vulnerable if you keep lowering down it's about looking and seeing ahead keep the hunter of abundance with the giraffe is telling you look in the future what do you want go get it because it's going to be yours. Now that's three eights in your, no, that's still two eights in my bed. So I got all excited. So just making sure that you're working with that anxiety and with the heaviness, because that, that's going to be the hard part. And that's where the spirit keeper of the North comes in 
and the shaman of birth, making sure that you're cultivating your dreams, making sure you're nurturing your body, your mind, and your soul, and nurturing your future. Because a lot of this that you're looking into is looking up into the future. You are ready to move on, Aquarius. Whatever the situation is, whether it is with a family member, whether it is with your ex-husband or future ex-husband or wife, it's time to move on. And you felt that nudge for a while, and I think that's why the Prince of Arrows came through. I think you delivered the message a little bit kind of like rough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just not like you and you're just done you're done and you're finished and you've made up your mind with all of these arrows in the read it's just a finished situation okay with that being said guys that is what I have for you this month I know it doesn't sound like super exciting or anything but I wanted to tell you I got these cards called sacred site oracle cards by Yuri Leach and I want to tell you, they're really interesting. I have not worked with them much, but the card that I drew for you is Karnak. And Karnak is about protection. And this is what your month is gonna, this is like what you're facing this month. So when we look at the lower world right here on the bottom, that's considered your past Aquarius. In the past, you have may have been blinkered, blinkered but not the eye of Horus okay it allows you to see more clearly the avenue of the great ancient Egyptian site of Karnak is flagged by statues of Amon okay Amon combined with the sun god Ra to become the almighty Amon Ra the lion's body represents power so here we are again with this lion body whether you're dealing with fire signs in the past or you have it in your chart I'm telling you you may want to look up the lion and get some lion like medicine and that is to have courage that is to have strength under the attack and that is to watch your emotions okay so with this such a symbol can bring you good health and luck and keep you safe when you open yourself up to higher spiritual vibrations, as you are doing now, by working with this, protection is even more essential, okay? So what you need to learn from your past is to learn to say no, okay? That is what Karnak is trying to tell you. Now, in the present moment, which is going to be right here at this level, right there in that, it says, does the image of the temple mutt appeal to you? Okay. Initially, local deity, the goddess Mutt, rose to the prominence as queen of the gods, the mother and protector with her consort. All right. And what this is trying to tell you is, hold on. Are you the parent? Here's the, the, the mother thing. Are you the parent, the child, the boss, the employee, the lover, the beloved, the friend or the enemy, the exploiter, the victim, the idler, the martyr? Who are you? Which roles do you embrace? Which would you rather not play? Here's the time to be honest with yourself. It is time to release some of your roles completely. Some people may not like the real you, but Mutt and the universe will support you as you stand in your authenticity. And that is where you're at right now. You're having to be strong. You're having to make these decisions and you're having to swallow your pride. And yeah, some people aren't going to like you. The hell with them because they don't pay your bills. And if they do, you can get a job and pay your damn self because it's your life. And sometimes we got to cut those people off in order to rise above. Now, we're going to look at the statue on top. And this is your upper world. This is your potential. And it's telling you, move forward this month as a war. Warrior. Okay, this is Sekma. Call upon her to shield you from the negative energies of others. All too often you get caught up in other people's dramas and take on their problems. You can use the ceremony of Sekma to eliminate such conflicts from your life. It is a warn you not to let your anger or vengeful feelings take charge. And that's her right here. You don't want to harness this energy at all. Okay. This is to dispose of your enemies without you having to get your hands dirty, okay? It's, it's about being guilt-free and rising above. You don't have to take on every little petty discussion that's going to be thrown your way this month. You're going to rise above. You're going to follow the giraffe's medicine. You're going to mend the relationships. And you're going to go have your nine of cups with your lion. And you're going to enjoy your freaking rest of the year because you've cut the bullshit out already. So, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I tried to go kind of fast and um, also I will put um, a description of the cards that way if you want to check them out I really love these cards like I said I'm just learning how to deal with them and work with them but I love the past the present and the future description on how these work and to be honest guys you had to make this decision it's been coming I think since last year looking at all your reads and now we're right here in the present moment and to hell with the people that don't like you have the courage and go get your nine of cups 
All right, Aquarius, thank you so very, very much. Big hugs and lots of love. And thank you for hanging out with me today. Also, if you're interested in, I'm still going to extend this, um, what was it, the Sweetheart Special. So if you're into a love read, you get one love read with an extra added bonus gift for a self-love video delivered to you from me for $15. So if you're interested in it, check out the description below. Hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about these new cards. And you have a wonderful month of February.